Hi, hello, welcome to a new video. In this video, I would like to introduce you this uh, one of the youngest international masters. And um, there are players that he used to play, like um, he played against Grandmaster, I guess, and he won against this probably Russian player. And let's look at his, his game. I don't know why they share this game, but I just thought that it's interesting, that's why they share it. So I think he lost this game. Oh. So let's watch the first move is um, d4 and and I, I, I can't I don't get it who is the white with the white pieces I think so Emir Khan is with the uh, white pieces anyway so he's the winner in this game and he's lower rated than him um, so then this is the normal opening so this is the opening So this this move might be interesting because why rep replay with the knight when what is the main goal here? So like to push this pawn there or, or something else. So let's see what is the response. Instead of going there and the black pieces should just uh, go that that square. And uh, then yes as i said he played his knight there because he wanted to advance his pawn and um, later interestingly he decided to go back to this this piece and so to be more active in the center i guess and uh, a4 and white seems waiting opponent to do something so during that time just opening his pawn and maybe it's prophylactic uh, if there is an engine I don't think this is the best move right now because I think the engine expects something with action not not this move but white maybe doesn't doesn't know and I'm sure what to do at least play this and, and later rook b8 was played and uh, so maybe this pawn will uh, will be advanced and then it can be the it can be a good move and then that is interesting because generally like they don't recommend playing opening this this pawn but that are international master play level players so like FIDA master players so that that must be a reason for this this move so there might be some different tactics so you can secure the king later so i think the idea is to push the pawn there and then he has to eat your piece and after eating after eating it he has to play his knight somewhere else and then the king side will be vulnerable and white has more focused pieces than black pieces and i think black also doesn't expect that move and then he decided to take the pawn and then exchange the pawn and he advanced his pawn to there and I'm sure that so far there are some inaccuracies but I can't tell what is the uh, problem with the, those games so and um, so there are three pieces protecting this pawn and seems I think I would say that the white is better in this position but I don't know yet so everything can change and black settled his bishop there it's a good place but if knight takes it then it will be meaning not be very meaningful but so then the knight can be active there and the rook e1 was played. Uh, 
knight d7. Interesting. So they're playing quite slowly and they don't want to open the game much and they're not sure. And he played it also slow move knight b1. That's very unusual to me and they, they generally don't go back with, with the knight. It is rare in professional chess games and I think we will see why they might is the reason to play there. <clears throat> and uh, check and he has to play he has to protect his pawn so that the queen um, queen can take take it. So and so it seems the king is not really vulnerable there. It seems king is safe. And I don't know, I think this knight is not doing anything there. Still, I'm, I don't get it. What is the point of playing the knights there? I have no idea, but I'm not a Vida master anyway. And then the queen is... Wow, that's a great move by black pieces. And so there's no way to eat this queen, but... Um, because then the pawn will take it. And pawn will tread both knight and rook. So... And I'm curious what is the next move here. So, and he cannot actually play his rook there because uh, if he plays, then he will take with this bishop. So I think at this moment, I will I will think that the black pieces are better, way more better. And like white is trying to do a lot, but I think tactically speaking, the black pieces are just indeed better. And um, white played his knight there. And uh, what is the main idea of it? Like whether it is prophylactic or... So I think this is for opening the other rook. So it shows that playing the knight here was a mistake. Because it blocked the rook and wasted some moves. And c4 was played to advance the pawn. And so yes, so the rock came here, and I think this bishop is very annoying there, and this game seems very, uh, seems great, interesting, very interesting. And so what happened? Wait. So I don't get it. Wait. So here and then played rook and queen go back. <clears throat> 